have two cars that are sliding sideways from anywhere from 50 miles an hour to 120 miles an hour. And uh, as a lead driver, they are trying to put the car in certain areas of the track. And as a chase driver, we are trying to mimic the movements that they do. You could call me a professional motorsports driver. Welcome to today's video. If you look behind me, there are quite a few cars. But I think what I identify more as is a YouTuber and influencer in the automotive space. Uh, I really enjoy building cars driving them more than anything and just uh, tuning and modifying. There's a specific mirror, it's called a, a Ganador mirror, and they made them in a very limited window back in the 90s for specific chassis. They're rare, they're expensive, so it's always been my goal to see if I can find a way to take them apart and rebuild the base to suit different cars, because I think it'll look awesome. The end goal is just to have something unique and different, and I know that my audience will really resonate because they know I'm obsessed with these mirrors. We got the Ganadors, that if I can incorporate it into this new build, it'll be cool. And I wanted to try it myself, and I was gonna try to learn how to do it out of fiberglass, and that's messy, it doesn't come out as clean. Where now, like if we actually have 3D models of both, we can make it perfect as if they were made from the factory. And pretty fast, almost like the rate at which you like paint. Matt's my friend that I'll always bounce my crazy ideas off of because I know he's the person that has the knowledge. He knows how to scan things and he knows how to develop CAD models. So I asked him if he thought it would be possible and he said, yeah. I'm just a close friend that you know likes to see him succeed and help out where I can. I'm a mechanical engineer in the R&D division. My favorite thing about working at Faro is just every day seems like something new on my plate in terms of developing new products or improving existing products. So during my normal workday, I'll design parts, work with assemblies, improve current parts, or assist with production issues. Right after work, I'll head over to the shop and go straight into the engineering on the car that I'm, I'm building or uh, setting up a car that's getting ready to race. You know, we got Ganador mirrors, Ganador mirrors, Ganador mirrors. Adam is very attached to these mirrors. You'll see them on almost all of his cars. They're on that car, they're on that car, they're on that car, they're on that car. We don't want to create replicas. We want to take the real authentic caps and make bases for those caps so they're still authentic but just modified to suit newer cars. One thing I like about the challenge of making these mirrors fit another vehicle is not only the mechanical aspect of how they made together, but creating a, almost like a fluid design and almost bringing art into the CAD process uh, to make everything look good. The equipment that's going to be used today is the Faro Quantum Max Scan Arm. The Faro Quantum Max Scan Arm is used where portable measurement is, is required by the customer. The Quantum Max is going to help them achieve this door mirror task by the very nature of its portability. We can bring it right to the car, wherever it is, and, and scan it there. We don't have to have any special environment. Whatever the light levels are, we can work with that. We don't need to apply coatings to the, the vast majority of things. And, and this particular mirror won't require any treatment at all for us to be able to capture the data. This will be my first time. I've, I've heard about Fair Arms from Matt and he's talked to me about them, but I've never seen them in action and I'm excited to learn about it. This is so cool. The Faro Arm is very beneficial for the race applications because a lot of the work that we do is custom. So developing these parts from scratch takes a lot of time and a lot of research and development. So having a tool like a Faro Scanner cuts a drastic amount of time out of that R&D process. An LLP is a laser line probe. It allows you to capture data on surfaces very quickly and very accurately. The XS laser line probe has a longer stripe than the other options. It has a slightly lower resolution, but it allows the wider stripe allows more data to be captured more quickly. So it's a fast method of capturing organic surfaces. There are other probes available for the Quantum Max. We have a XP probe, which is a good performance probe, and then the XR, and the R there stands for resolution. It allows us to capture very, very high levels of detail. So that way we're able to get the scan data, get our CAD models, and generate parts faster and quicker and more reliable, as well as being able to analyze how our parts perform before they actually hit the racetrack. I think having this technology available, especially in a higher end racing application and vehicle design is almost necessary for parts like these nowadays. There's a lot of R&D, there's a lot of money, there's a lot of knowledge that is going into these teams. Ferro will save us a significant amount of time 
and the money that would be involved in prototyping these brackets because you're essentially cutting out the entire process of the trial and error guess and check method of designing a part and you can go straight from CAD to final design. So having a, a job and a hobby and a passion that follow the same path uh, is very beneficial to me and I enjoy it a lot because it, it takes away the the hardship of having to work for a living. I thrive off learning. I love getting better. I love progressing. If we didn't have the ferro arm uh, to be able to scan these mirrors, it would be a lot more research and development in terms of making this bracket because there would be trial and error of measuring by hand and creating these brackets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.